Welcome to Allocadia's self-serve training series, developed to assist you in setting up your company's Allocadia application. Allocadia is for all marketers, from the coordinator to the CMO, and from all field teams to global teams. You can structure Allocadia marketing budgeting software based on your organizational needs. My name is Jennifer, and I will be your host for this series. Let's kick this off with video one of seven, Building the Hierarchy. In this video, we will discuss what a budget hierarchy is, how to plan a budget hierarchy, and I will show you how to create a budget hierarchy in the application. What is a budget hierarchy? A budget hierarchy is an organizational structure of folders, subfolders, and budgets. When I think of the budget hierarchy, I think of folders on a computer network drive. Another way to think of the budget hierarchy is like an organizational chart of your marketing department. Before you jump into the application and start building out your company's budget hierarchy, we suggest you plan the structure. There are four primary things to consider when you plan a budget hierarchy. Number one, project slash budget owners. We highly recommend organizing your budgets by budget owner. If you have a team lead for each region, cost center, functional area of spend, etc., you should have a budget for each region, cost center, functional area of spend, etc. This is key, as budget owner is typically how access into budgets within Allocadia is given. Number two, marketing end users. Are your users able to see all aspects of your marketing budget or just sections? In Allocadia, users can only see budgets that they have been invited to. Keep in mind, if you have a budget that includes both demand generation and marketing events, and you have users who should only see the marketing events spend, you will want to split the budget into two. Number three, multi-currency. Allocadia accommodates multi-currency hierarchies. You may only have one currency per budget. If you'd like to track your spend displaying multiple currencies, create separate budgets per currency. For example, if you have a demand generation budget and multiple regions work within it and report in their local currency, we recommend you have a demand generation budget per region. Note, folders and subfolders will display in the master currency. Number four, aggregated amounts. Each folder and subfolder will show an aggregated view of the subfolders and budgets inside of it. If you would like to be able to see a total of your regional, multi-currency demand generation budgets, you can create a demand generation subfolder that contains the regional budgets. When you view the roll-up at the demand generation subfolder level, you will see the aggregated totals of the regional budgets. Please note, there are exceptions. Contact Allocadia support for any further assistance. Now that we have planned our budget hierarchy, it's time to build it. In the application, I will show you the base skills to assist you in creating the hierarchy. You will learn how to create a roll-up folder, create a subfolder, and create a budget. Let's get started. If you do not have an account, go to Allocadia.com to sign up. On the Home tab, you will see a sample budget and possibly a marketing org demo. To convert a standalone budget, like the sample budget, to a roll-up folder, select the budget by single clicking on it. Click the Organize drop-down menu and select Convert to Folder. Single click into the Folder Name field to rename the roll-up folder. Ensure that the Categories will be unique for each budget in my folder, most common recommended, radio dial is selected. Make sure that the Copy Original Budget button is deselected. Click Confirm. Converting a standalone budget into a roll-up folder saves time if you have already set up the standalone budget settings. When converted to a roll-up folder, the standalone budget settings become the folder settings. If you would like to create a roll-up folder without converting a standalone budget, deselect any folders, subfolders, or budgets by clicking on the Budget Hierarchy column header. Press the New Folder button. Single click into the folder name field to rename the roll-up folder. Single click the Create Folder button. To create a subfolder within the roll-up, single click on the roll-up folder to highlight it. Single click the New Subfolder button. 
you will notice a plus sign appears next to the Rollup folder. Double-click on the New subfolder and rename. To add a second subfolder, single-click on the Rollup folder to highlight it. Single-click on the New subfolder button. Double-click on the New subfolder and rename. To move subfolders up or down within the Rollup, single-click and highlight the subfolder that you would like to move. Open the Organize drop-down menu and select Move Up. Note, subfolders cannot be moved in or out of other subfolders. To create a budget, single-click and highlight the subfolder that you would like to add a budget to. Single-click the New Budget button. Click into the Budget Name field and name the budget. Ensure the Budget Within a Folder radio dial is selected under Type. A standalone budget is one that is outside of a roll-up and will not be included in any aggregated totals. Make sure that the folder you are adding the budget to is selected in the Within Folder drop-down. Categories are groupings of activities within budgets. Fixed categories are preset groupings that cannot be edited or deleted at the budget level. Allowing the marketing end user to establish their own groupings provides flexibility in the way the marketing teams plan. The majority of our customers do not use fixed categories. In this example, we will go with the Do Not Use Fixed Categories option. Single-click the Create Budget button. Expand the subfolder by clicking the plus icon to see the budget within the subfolder. If you realize that a budget you have created would be best suited in another subfolder, single-click on the budget to highlight it. Open the Organize drop-down menu and select Move to another folder. Choose the folder or subfolder that you would like to move the budget to from the Select a Folder drop-down list. Make sure that the Copy Original Budget checkbox is unselected. Single-click the Confirm button. Let's recap what we just learned. We learned how to plan a budget hierarchy, how to convert a standalone budget to a roll-up folder, how to create a roll-up folder, how to create a subfolder, how to create a budget, and how to move a budget from one folder to another. Are you ready to be a super user? Put your new skills to the test and start creating your company's budget hierarchy. It's time to customize your account settings. Watch the next video in the self-serve training series, video 2 of 7, Configuring Your Settings. To find the remainder of the self-serve training series and support articles, go to support.allocadia.com. Thank you for joining me and have a great day!